What is going on everybody? It is your boy Jaden and I'm here to talk about what's probably going to happen next with the Sonic franchise because of what happened with Sonic Forces and Sonic Mania. Two thousand seventeen is looking to be a pretty decent year for Sonic Team, Sega, and Sonic in general. They hyped up Sonic Mania and as well as Sonic Forces, which a lot of fans were actually pretty hyped for as well, but Sonic Mania turned out to be the better game. Now this is a great and bad thing at the same time. I only say this because Sonic Mania was practically made by fans of Sonic Game. Sonic Forces was made by people who make Sonic Game. And Sonic Team has been screwing up with Sonic Games in general. But if you get a couple of fans to go make a game and it turns out better than the game that Sonic Team is working on, that shows that there's an issue going on. And I don't think the problem lies in the head producer of a Sonic game. The whole entire team is responsible for a video game. Let's put it this way, Sonic Team isn't the same Sonic Team that we had years ago. And a lot of these people in Sonic Team are now new. And if you tell these people to make a game that they have never done before, it probably won't come out the greatest. So say this new Sonic Team made Sonic Adventure, right? It's still Sonic Team, but it's not the same people in Sonic Team that made Sonic Adventure in that time period. How could they make a game that they've never made before? Basically, my point is this new Sonic Team's focus is on boost games. These are the type of games they know how to make. Sonic Forces was a pretty tragic case. It was a boost game and that was one of the strengths of the game, but it was just a really, really weak boost game. And they already tried something different with Lost World and that didn't turn out the way most people wanted it to. So if you catch what I'm saying, you're probably thinking what I'm thinking. Sonic's next game, and yes I say games, will be boost games. I don't think they're going to try to derive from anything different. Because I think they kind of realized where they messed up in Sonic Forces. It's not that exactly that they messed up, it's that they didn't put too much into the game. The game is oversimplified boost Sonic with extremely linear levels and linear design and on top of that limited control of actually controlling Sonic. And if it is going to be a boost game, I'm going to be extremely happy. I'd rather them stick with one formula. The reason why Sonic is so bad sometimes is because they always want to change something every other game and that just ruins the flow of Sonic games. You'll get a game that's good and then the next game not so much and maybe the next game bad or even good. You know, it's not a good balance for them to have they need to keep momentum they don't need to break that momentum by changing something up that will potentially ruin the formula of sonic and i'm glad forces is a boost game because like i said a lot of people in sonic team now are new from what we're learning and if they worked on this game as newbies imagine the next boost game being even better than Sonic Forces. The reception for Sonic Forces isn't horrible, it's just extremely mixed. Uh, most people probably say the game is mediocre. And here's a poll from just some of my viewers, this is only 100 people, but there's just widespread opinions all over the internet of Sonic Forces that you can search for yourself. And in my personal opinion, I think Sonic Forces is a step, baby steps, in the right direction. And if Sega decides to do something completely different, then guess what? I take the L. None of that really matters. All we want is for these companies to succeed. We want these companies to succeed so we can get better games and more games continuing the future of Sonic and whatever. This applies to anything. Let's talk a little bit about Sonic Mania. If Sega does not take note of what that game did and why everybody loves it, then that's going to be a real shame because they need to create more games like that. They need to get Christian Whitehead on board with Sega and give him his uh, creative control. And if they do that, then that's great. I honestly don't see that in the future because Sega makes a lot of stupid decisions. So we're just going to have to wait and see with that one as well. I'm not exactly sure what I think is going to happen there. But honestly speaking here, I couldn't really tell you if Sonic's future is going to be bright or not. I honestly wanted to succeed. I guess the only real thing we can say is we're just going to have to wait and see.